December 28, we have the memorial of the Holy Innocents, martyrs. The Holy Innocents are the children who were slaughtered at the orders of King Herod in the hope that by killing every boy born in Bethlehem at the same time as Jesus, he would succeed in killing the newborn King of the Jews. There was nothing about those baby boys that made them deserve death. Look at any one of them and you can see that he had no chance to do anything or be anyone or become anyone. He had done nothing. He had done nothing bad. He had done nothing good. He was born and then he died. And that was all there was to him. So passive are these babies that some people find it hard to understand how they can share the title of martyr with people like Saint Stephen, whose feast we celebrate on the next day of Christmas, who insisted on preaching the truth until his hearers stoned him for it or St. Thomas Becket, whose feast we will celebrate tomorrow, who insisted on living the truth until his king had him killed because of it. These children did not insist on anything except their mother's milk. And unlike Stephen and Thomas, there was no voluntary act of theirs that we can see as making the difference between being martyred and not being martyred. So, in our rational human terms, these children are a puzzle, and that is one reason why God has inspired the Church to celebrate this very feast, to show us how inadequate our seemingly rational, worldly wise thoughts are. As he reminds us again and again throughout salvation history, his thoughts are not our thoughts. Babies may not rank high on the scale as far as our human calculus is concerned, but then neither do sparrows. And yet God has told us that God sees and counts every one of those. The holy innocents can stand, therefore, for the unimportant and unnecessary pawns, child and adult like, that permeate the whole of human history. The ones who can be sacrificed for some greater cause because they don't really matter. The eggs that were broken to make an omelette or even broken to make nothing at all. There are plenty of them, one way or another. The Feast of the Holy Innocents reminds us that in God's eyes, that is, according to the true value of things, no one is unimportant, no one is unnecessary, no one doesn't really matter. However, Meaningless their lives and deaths may seem to us, they shine glorious in heaven. On a more personal level, the honor given to the holy innocence reminds us that if we suffer or even die for God's sake, it has value even if we have little or no say in it ourselves. Honoring them effectively honors also the martyrdom of the people these children could have become and their children's children as well. And at the same time, we can remember the contemporary and continuing massacre of those who die before birth for the convenience of those who have been killed.